Stranger Things has been one of the biggest hits that Netflix has ever had TV series-wise. It came out of nowhere, surprised everyone with its heart, comedy, horror, and deep characters, and with each new season, the show just keeps getting better. Due to the global pandemic, things with season 4 took a lot longer than fans wanted, but at least things are finally starting to shape up and turn to what they needed it to be, a release date. But with the announcement of a release date also comes the hard truth that the show will be ending. Allow us to show you Stranger Things to end after Season 5. Number 7. The End Confirmed The Duffer Brothers have made some big announcements regarding the future of Stranger Things in recent weeks. First and foremost, the hit Netflix series that put actors Millie Bobby Brown, Finn Wolfhard, Gaten Matarazzo, Noah Schnapp, and Caleb McLaughlin on the map is officially coming to an end with Season 5, as Netflix formally announced it for one last renewal. Seven years ago, we planned out the complete story arc for Stranger Things. Series creators and showrunners Matt and Ross Duffer wrote in an open letter to the fans that they put online. At the time, we predicted the story would last four or five seasons. It proved too large to tell in four, but as you'll soon see for yourselves, we are now hurtling toward our finale. Season 4 will be the penultimate season, Season 5 will be the last. Now that is sad, mainly because this is a show that many would have loved to last for a lot longer. But the Duffer Brothers have always been ones to know when to stop things. And as such, 5 seasons is a good run, and it gives them the time and space to wrap things up how they want to. Number 6. Season 4 – 2 Parts as for the other big announcement, Stranger Things Season 4 now has a premiere date, but the show will be released on Netflix in two separate parts. Volume 1 will debut on the streaming platform on May 27th, while Volume 2 will land on July 1st. With nine scripts, over 800 pages, almost two years of filming, thousands of visual effects shots, and a runtime nearly twice the length of any previous season, Stranger Things 4 was the most challenging season yet but also the most rewarding one, the Duffers write. Everyone involved is incredibly proud of the results, and we can't wait to share it with you. So what lies beyond Stranger Things Seasons 4 and 5? The Duffers wouldn't confirm any kind of a spinoff, but they did tease there are still many more exciting stories to tell within the world of Stranger Things. New mysteries, new adventures, new unexpected heroes. Meanwhile, Season 4 will bring the characters outside the town of Hawkins, David Harbour's Hopper is alive and well, but he has been forced into manual labor at a Russian camp. While Winona Ryder's Joyce moved her family to California to escape the literal horrors of Hawkins. But new trouble is brewing that they'll see their paths collide once more. Number 5. Season Description Alongside the news about seasons 4 and 5, we also have a synopsis and a tagline about what to expect. The season's marketing tagline, Every Ending, has a beginning. Here's the official description of Season 4. It has been six months since the Battle of Star Court, which brought terror and destruction to Hawkins. Struggling with the aftermath, our group of friends are separated for the first time, and navigating the complexities of high school hasn't made things any easier. In this most vulnerable time, a new and horrifying supernatural threat surfaces, presenting a gruesome mystery that, if solved, might finally put an end to the horrors of the Upside Down. Number 4. Growing Up Another big reason why they're likely ending things soon is because if you think about it, most of the cast are kids, teens, and they're growing up pretty fast. Some will be near their 20s when Season 5 likely drops, and so they want to get things going while they can. This also lines up with things the cast have said, including Finn Wolfhard, noting that the kids are getting much older now. I think because we've all grown and gotten a little older, we're not teenagers anymore, and all of us are young adults. Every season, the creators, the Duffers, have been like going into scarier and pretty violent territory. This season is going to be easily the darkest season. It's weird because they amp up everything every season, and so it's also the funniest season. It has one of the funniest storylines, like full-blown, almost comedy. And then there's another storyline that's complete absolute horror, but not sci-fi, it's a horror. It's really scary, and I'm excited for people to see that. Number 3. The New Cast Members Given the ending of Season 3 of Stranger Things, there are going to be many new locales that we'll be visiting, and as such, some new characters will emerge. 
Miles Truitt will take on the role of Hawkins basketball player Patrick, whose life will end up spiraling out of control following some shocking events, while Amy Beth McNulty will play Vicky, described as a cool, fast-talking band nerd who catches the eye of one of our beloved heroes. I was one of the first people in my friend group to watch the first season of Stranger Things, she told the Times. When I got cast, it came out of the blue. I screamed, cried, and got very excited. Elsewhere, Regina Ting Chen, Queen of the South, is going to be guidance counselor Ms. Kelly, who cares deeply about her students. And Grace Van Deen, Lady Driver, will play Hawkins High School cheerleader and popular girl Chrissy, although might not be as it seems, because this seemingly perfect surface lies a dark secret. Robert England, aka the most 80s of wisecracking serial killer burn victims Freddy Krueger, will play Victor Creel, a disturbed and intimidating man who is imprisoned in a psychiatric hospital. Mason Dye from Teen Wolf is Jason Carver, a handsome rich athlete dating the most popular girl in school. So how all of these players will fit into the overall narrative is unknown. But what is known is that they will have an impact whether it be big or small. And just because they aren't big now won't mean that they won't get bigger roles when season 5 rolls around. Number 2. Turning the Pages Another thing that the Duffer brothers have made sure to do with Stranger Things is not just plan out what's coming, but make sure that each season is its own story that can be built upon later. We like to look at each season as kind of its own complete story, Matt Duffer told Deadline. We do have a pretty large mythology, and season by season we're turning the page and revealing a little bit more and more, so we do have a general sense of where we're going. We've known the ending of the show for quite a while. And you can expect to see the show's endgame seeded in season 4, which again has been confirmed as not being the series' final installment. We know what the end is, and we know when it is, Ross Duffer said. The pandemic has given us time to look ahead, figure out what is best for the show. Starting to fill that out gave us a better idea of how long we need to tell that story. And that answer is five seasons. And with season four almost ready to debut, they'll be working hard to make season five the best it can possibly be. Number one, can they wrap it up perfectly? Well, that is the question that many fans are going to ask over the coming months as season four debuts. Because with season five being the end, the question becomes how will it end? Many will expect a lot of death. Others will want to focus on the end of the Mind Flayer and the Upside Down. Obviously, fans want a reunion, especially of Mike and Eleven, and the typical comedy, action, and everything else that comes with it. We can't even try to predict how it ends, as everything is at a crossroads right now given where everyone is in Season 4. But the Duffers have said that they have a plan. They know what they want to do, but whether they actually execute it or not, well, that remains to be seen. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Stranger Things and how Seasons 4 and 5 are going to do all they can do to wrap things up and make it clear how important this show was? What do you think are some of the big things that'll happen in Season 4 to set up Season 5? Do you think that Season 5 might go even bigger episode count-wise to ensure that they get all they want done? Let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time on the channel.